we will continue our discussion about this effect of fatty acid synthesis towards the differentiation of this embryonic stem cells uh, to the specific lineage in this figure we will discuss about the pancreatic cancers uh, the not the cancer pancreatic cells lineage from the embryonic stem cells so in the previous video we have understood that uh, fatty acid synthesis the comparison between fatty acid synthesis and the fatty acid oxidations and uh, we have made a hypothesis from the experiments that is shown in the previous figure that fatty acid oxidation promotes the differentiation of the embryonic stem cells whereas fatty acid synthesis reduce the differentiation of the embryonic stem cells uh, towards the germ layer which is the uh, first stage or primary stage for the development of a particular organ or we can say it's the primary stage to differentiate is the primary stage to in which the cancer cell uh, no not the cancer the uh, cell lines uh, which are committed towards a specific lineage are formed so here we will uh, understand how the uh, effect of here we will understand the effect of this fatty acid synthesis on the embryonic stem cells uh, so in this case they have used two inhibitors to prevent this fatty acid synthesis first one is this firco and second one is this c75 so it will prevent firco will prevent this acetyl coa to convert into the malolyl coa and this c75 will prevent malolyl coa to convert into the fatty acid and first they have pre presented the result about this uh, firco inhibitor and they can see that when the firco inhibitors are used they can see more uh, 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 genes that are related uh, to this more genes that are related to the definitive endotherms or uh, and less genes that are uh, and uh, less number of these marker genes are found in the control where they have not used any inhibitors for example this fox a2 sox 17 and cxcr4 uh, all threes are all three genes are uh, related to the, or are the markers for this uh, definitive endo endotherms which is the uh, differentiation stage that is occurred differentiation state or the first germ layer from this embryonic stem cells towards uh, making them committed to a specific lineage and when they check the results for the another inhibitor that is c75 they can see the similar results that the uh, fox2 sex uh, sox17 and cxcr4s are upregulated when the cells are treated with this uh, C75 inhibitors, so all uh, both the this, both the results indicates that uh, reduced in this fatty acid synthesis will help the differentiation of these uh, embryonic stem cells towards definitive endotherms, and these things they have validated uh, using this concentration dependent C75 inhibitors. And they can see that increase in the amount of uh, these genes, increase in the amount of these genes that is SOX17 and CXCR4. They can see that uh, in the control it is around 35.8%. Then for the 2.5 micromolar of the C75, they can see the increase in the SOX17 and also in the CXCR417 that 42.6. And thereafter, with the 5 micromolar, it goes up to 48.6, and for 10 micromolar, it goes up to 50.9. And when they did uh, the statistical analysis of this flow cytometer data, they can see the continuous increase in this uh, marker genes for this definitive endotherms with the increase in the concentration of the inhibitors. And these things they have also validated using using uh, fluorescence measurements of uh, some of the markers, such as Fox A2. They can see that increase uh, clear difference between control and C75 inhibitors, and this is the merge populations. And also, these uh, marker genes for these embryonic stem cells are reduced. That can be uh, seen in this control versus C75. And when did, uh, in order to check the effect of these inhibitors on the global uh, transcriptomes, they did this uh, RNA seq data analysis of the C75, uh, C75 inhibitor cells and the control cells, and they can see that. Uh, some of the genes that are involved in 
some of the genes that are involved in this differentiations or in some of the genes that are the marker for the as markers for this definitive endoterms are upregulated where the genes uh, some of the genes that are the markers for uh, this uh, this red indicates the upregulation and the blue indicates the downregulation. So genes uh, that are involved in the uh, genes that are the markers for this definitive endoterms are upregulated, whereas the genes that are the markers for that are markers for these embryonic stem cells are downregulated in the case of these C75 inhibitor cells, whereas for the control it is quite opposite that we can see that. Uh, that we can see that the genes that are the markers for this embryonic stem cells are uh, upregulated in the control case compared to the case, compared to the genes that are the markers for this endotherm depletive endotherms so this indicates that uh, the c75 helps in the differentiation of this embryonic stem cells uh, so that they can become committed to a specific lineage and when they did the gene ontology analysis they can find the similar uh, things that is the cells uh, the pathways that are upregulated are in this uh, cell differentiation stage uh, this tissue development and the other uh, developments pathways whereas uh, whereas the pathways that are down regulated are related to this uh, uh, regulations of the cell and the cell additions or cell junction assemblies or response to the key, ketone which is uh, basically more prominent in this embryonic stem cells and when they differentiate this uh, c75 inhibitor cells uh, to a pancreatic lineage they can uh, see that there is an increase in the number of uh, pancreatic beta cells that they have identified uh, and that uh, they have checked the markers for these pancreatic beta cells such as into uh, insulin and glycogen they can see the clear increase in the uh, cells that are in which the C75 inhibitors are used compared to the case where controls are migrated compared to the case of control where there is no inhibitors are used and those cells uh, are also uh, subjected to the differentiation towards this pancreatic cancer, uh, pancreatic cell pancreatic cell lineage or pancreatic lineage so this clearly indicates that C75 uh, the inhibition of this fatty acid synthesis helps in the differentiation or accelerated the differentiation of embryonic stem cells towards a specific lineage and these things uh, about this pancreatic lineage differentiation they are also validated using this nx uh, using immunostaining of this nx nkxc1 or c peptides which are the markers for this pancreatic lineage and they can see that in the case of this c75 and in the case of this c75 both this nx nkxc1 and c peptides are increased compared to the control case now this uh, indicates or uh, this things this results indicates that uh, uh, the fatty acid synthesis uh, or decrease in the fatty acid synthesis helps in the increased differentiation of the embryonic stem cells to towards a particular lineage so this is what we can take out from this uh, figure or from the experimental results that are presented in this figure and if you need to understand in detail about these experimental results and their <coughs> supplemental data, you can go through the reference that has been provided in the description. So that's all for this video. Thank you for your time.